Welcome to the annual general meeting of the Friends of the Saskatoon at Four Station Areas. Today we honour those who have fallen. It's time to honour the past and show our respects and also to remember the past and appreciate the present and plan for the future of the afforestation areas. Welcome. There are many things to be appreciative at the afforestation areas. They are carbon sinks taking action on climate change. There is an abundance of historic, cultural and natural heritage and environmental protection programs are very timely with the P4G and City of Saskatoon growing out to the southwest area of Saskatoon. These are just a few of the benefits of afforestation areas. And while you're out in the afforestation areas, you might wonder who is Chief Iron Horse? What is the West Whale? What is the Green Survival Program? And who in the world is Baba Wayamiti? George Genry Urban Regional Park is 148 acres. And Richard St. Barb Baker afforestation area is 326 acres. And you can see the West Whale go running through the areas and they are just located south of the CN Chapel Yards. This is Benjamin Thomas Chapel honored by 10 First Nations Chief as Chief Iron Horse. The Old Bone Trail runs through the afforestation areas and the West Whale uh, is part of the Urath Island Glacial Spillway of the Pleistocene era. There is much geographical, ge geological history to explore. We have put on many events in commemoration of the afforestation areas, honoring Richard St. Barb Baker. We do COVID sized tours on site still, but mainly now during COVID, we do virtual tours or heritage webinars. These are samples of the vehicle restriction barriers erected on the east side of the Richard St. Barb Baker afforestation area after the 2016 cleanup. We are in the planning process of doing similar installations on the west side of Richard St. Barb Baker afforestation area and also considering George Genru Urban Regional Park. They have worked amazingly well out at the east side. Environmental protection is amazing. Here are some before and after pictures of George Genru. We did a big cleanup on September 19th and followed up at both Richard St. Barb Baker and George Genru on October 3rd. Uh, you can appreciate the afforestation areas all season long. The Fatlanders Fat Bike Brigade, Green Winter Trails, the Bar Tiger Salamander has made an appearance out at the afforestation areas. There's COVID nature classrooms taking place. Skiers were out today taking advantage of the fresh snow. Families are coming out. It's just an amazing place to learn and appreciate such a diversity of, of an ecosystems out in the afforestation areas. While you're out, Download iNaturalist to your phone and take pictures of the animals and plants, insects and mushrooms. Uh, by doing so, you'd be creating a data inventory so the Miwasan and the City of Saskatoon YXC Green Strategy can establish a baseline inventory. Uh, from our bio blitzes, noxious invasives were reported and this year leafy spurge, musk thistle and creeping bellflower were removed from the afforestation areas. As well, about a dozen species at risk have been identified. Amongst them are the red buried elder and the northern small lady's yellow lady slipper. Uh, the red buried elder is ranked as S2 by the Saskatchewan Data Conservation Center. If you have any recycling, please call or email us. We would be glad to pick up, sort, and stand in the snowy lineups and give you a charitable tax receipt. Uh, this goes a long way to protecting the environment. If you look at the website, we have many ways to become involved and uh, we appreciate anybody who wants to uh, learn more about the afforestation areas and have a desire to protect them. Now we come to the AGM portion of tonight's meeting and here is the agenda and there is a, a wonderful maple out at the George Genery Park. This is the slate of officers and a picture of the Richard St. Barb Baker afforestation area. There is breaking news that we want to announce out at the afforestation areas. The city of Saskatoon has just told us that no hunting, no motorized vehicles and no dumping signage is in the works of being installed around the perimeter of George Jenner Urban Uishta Park. And while the sign planner was on site, consideration was also given to ways of making it more difficult for vehicle access into the area. It might not happen this year because of how winter came in like a lion, but it's something that the City of Saskatoon is definitely looking into and for that we are greatly appreciative. 
If you have any further questions, please email us. We are at friendsatforestation at gmail.com and we would love to hear any comments or any questions, any concerns that you might have about the afforestation areas. Thank you kindly.